Hi, this is Sheila Rubinoff, president of Cybersphere, a Futurum Group. I'm here with Doug Shepard at Tanium's Converge Conference and the first stop of the world tour. Doug, it's such a pleasure to be with you here today. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Pleasure's mine. Yeah, so I'm Doug at Shep Shepard. Most people call me Shep. Uh, and I run offensive security and insider threat at JLL. And I'm the senior director there. JLL is a very large commercial real estate company. Uh, and we have uh, a lot of endpoints and we are in about 80 countries. Let's get right to it here at the Tatium Conference. And typically in the past, organizations would buy technology based on who else was buying that technology. But as the advancement of technology happens and our advancement in terms of our security world, we now, all the organizations are looking for the best fit and the right product for the organizations because there's no one size fits all. So I'm curious, what led you to Tanium? So coming into COVID, we had a lot of tech debt and we realized that tech debt almost immediately, uh, that we just didn't have enough telemetry and visibility into our endpoints to know what was happening when they weren't in one of our buildings and instead were in our employees' homes. And so we immediately realized we needed uh, some sort of solution to address that. And Tanium really is the only player in that market that would allow us to get that kind of visibility, that kind of inspection, uh, that kind of instrumentation on our endpoints. So let's talk about visibility for a moment. What level and what depth of visibility is provided and what is needed, maybe across industries? I would always say you need a little more visibility than you have, right? Okay. Uh, so for us, we didn't have enough visibility into patching. We didn't have enough visibility into what employees were doing day in and day out and how that would impact uh, sort of the security of the endpoint. So without that level of visibility, we were sort of just hoping that our uh, security really would fix that visibility issue. And it really wasn't because we were only getting visibility if somebody had malware on their endpoint. And there's a lot between good and, and you know, definitively evil. Certainly. Yeah. And now we're positioned in the industry. It's not if we're going to be attacked, it's when. And every organization is kind of sitting there. When is it going to happen? Are they going to, well, the trick is going to happen here. So sitting there in your organization and understanding the needs, the visibility, the types of security you have to have with organizations, how important it is to find the right fit and not just a solution that would just cover what is needed. That's right. And uh, frankly, our security stack before coming in had been a threat we thought that we were responding to, and it, that ended up uh, needing to evolve quite a bit, right? So we'd gone with best in breed solutions, sort of just because we felt like it was the right thing to do. But whenever it really came push to shove, we found that those solutions were not delivering uh, the performance and the security we'd expected them to. So Tanium allowed us to see that, to get insight into there was a lot more happening on the endpoint than just malware. And there was even malware that was happening on the endpoint that we weren't really being notified about with our, our solution before uh, moving to Tanium and now MDE. Oh, that's really important. Now, thank you for sharing that. And let's just make it a little broader across the cybersecurity atmosphere itself. Where would you say our world is going in the cybersecurity atmosphere? What do we have to pay attention to? And what are the biggest threats that you perceive to be in the cybersecurity world? Absolutely. I could talk about this for days. Great. And I, I, I Go rant ahead. On. Time's yours. Yeah. So a lot of people are concerned about Chinese intrusions or Russian intrusion, nation state intrigue in their networks. Sure. And it doesn't make sense. Right. At the end of the day, what you should really be concerned about is ransomware. You should be worried about your users clicking on things. And you shouldn't be worried about, you know, some nation state trying to steal your your secret cookie recipe or something like that. Right. Like you should be more worried about threats to your revenue, to your reputation, data loss events, you know, kind of like we saw last year with Move It. Yeah. You know, those are the big events people should be concerned about unless, you know, about the nation state intrigue. Certainly. And I always ask people who I interview, what is one pointer you give our audience about being cyber secure? What would you say is like, this is something you should think about? You need to have a slightly longer password. Whatever your password is today, it needs to be slightly longer. <laughs> well, Doug, it's such a pleasure speaking with you. And thank you for all your insight. And I hope you enjoy yourself here at Converge. Pleasure's mine. Thank you very much. Thank you.